uh, all my opportunities and all my internships are off campus so that and all my struggle to get them were also off campus after what happened was the mail was circulated to each team and each team said that we have hired uh, we have hired and we have hired interns like we do not have opening he knew that after some point you would stop answering like but he was uh, he was trying to test that what would you say when you don't know the, do not know the answer in your time right i have a so folder of please tell emails. so <laughs> i have a folder of rejection <laughs> So first of all please briefly introduce yourself Hi my name is Divyansh Patil and I'm here from uh, University School of Information and Communication Technology which is IPU main campus IP University main campus so I'm a fourth year student studying BTech over there with the streams computer science and I recently accepted the package from Gojek from because of which I'm here in this video so yeah that's <laughs> my intro Okay great so uh, was this opportunity off campus or on campus Uh, this opportunity was off campus okay so how you actually got this opportunity like have you asked for referrals on linkedin or have you applied on the career page directly or any hackathon how we got that uh, yeah, so yeah these um, you basically listed out all the uh, hiring processes of gojek like they hire through uh, they hire through linkedin through referrals to their career page and also hackathons but uh, what happened with me was that i was sitting in my last internship and i i was very interested to go to gojek and i uh saw a profile of shobhit like he's a se- he was a senior in uh, that company so i uh, cold called him on linkedin that uh, i want to join your prestigious company this is my resume and this is what i'm interested in and this is how you- i can grow with this company so like he then he gave me a referral like he <coughs> made uh, he sent my profile to all the teams that he is a guy and this this is so the mail went through all the teams and yeah this this is how it went okay so uh, initially you got an internship and then you converted that to ppo That's great. Yeah. So, uh, was it a six-month internship or two-month internship? It was a two-month internship, which was uh, extended to a four-month internship in wow. the between. And then uh, after that, it was converted after a month or so. So yeah. Okay, okay. And can you briefly describe what actually Gojek uh, do and uh, what's their business model? Okay, so Gojek is basically uh, uh, in Indonesia. You, you do not have Uber, Ola. so even zomato and some things like book my show and etc so all of this is done by gojek so gojek over there is a super app they brand themselves as a super app over there so they manage way too many things over there it's like and they have go food for paytm over there they have jeep and go pay and then for deliveries they have their own stuff so they have nearly 25 services as last year they managed about 1% of uh, the whole gdp of indonesia So over That's there, great. they handle a lot of traffic. Like they are not just one brand over there; they are a monopoly, many brands. So can you walk us through the complete hiring process that you faced? So yeah, uh, the hiring process which I faced, like it might differ from uh, people to people. We go to into Gojek because uh, I applied in Gojek when I was in uh, when I was in third year. So it was my third year summer internship. Like after the third year, when you get the summer, it was my start internship. So in third year winters, uh, I was in my winter internship. I applied. Uh, like I cold call show, but then then the mail got processed. After what happened was the mail was circulated to each team, and each team said that we have hired, uh, we have hired, and we have hired interns. Like we do not have opening. And uh, to my luck, you can say or whatever you can say that um, a team was just formed, like in January or February, and then they have a vacancy for an intern. So, uh, so the team which was supposed to hire me was the only one which was supposed to take interview. So, two people from that team took interview. One was a phone phone interview, phone technical interview. They asked me what have I done, what I'm doing in this current internship right now, what's my expertise and all. So, it was a one hour, one and a half hour uh, phone interview. After that, there was another interview which was technical, like this was screen sharing uh, technical interview, and over there. so what's good about that interview was that they uh, they were not asking if i knew a specific language or if i knew a specific framework or something so they asked me that uh, take any project that you know that you that's your best project so i took a project which my, which i made in github so it had many like 50 to 70 stars at that time so i was very um, like confident about that project i took that project so what he did was he broke that project into pieces into pieces into pieces and he went that deep into that project that i had to explain him how even the browser works so i am okay. a web developer basically wow. so he went that deep into that project mm-hmm. so he was just testing that when would i stop answering like i didn't oh. know this back then back he was then, drilling I was you like, actually Yeah. he was drilling me completely so <laughs> after that interview i even asked him in the internship that why would you take me in that in this internship after that interview i because i thought i'd bomb that interview 
but he <laughs> said that he knew that after some point you would stop answering like but he was uh, he was trying to test that what would you say when you don't know the, do not know the answer okay. so like if you can think in the in that uh, point of pressure that what to say yes. or what to react it so that was the one thing that he was testing exactly. so that was one thrilling interview and okay. after that it was an hr interview simple one okay. so, yeah. and uh, were there any exit interviews for your uh, for getting the ppo uh there was no exit interview as such so okay. due to covid uh the policy for hiring was kind of mangled in each and every company like yeah. they were which were giving ppo and not giving ppo now so yes. gojek was one of them like gojek uh, used to give ppo to almost all of the interns now and now this year i don't know who who got them and who didn't so as you also mentioned you have done internship previously as well right before gojek internship so i guess you are more into development so how your projects helped you during your uh, you know in getting this opportunity so how my projects help me is basically like uh, there are two things that i would uh, to say about this like getting internship and making projects are synonymous to me when getting uh, like to get an experience because uh, the more i got the internships the more i learned about the industrial experience and the more i went into projects the more i learned about the specifics of a language or such so both of them combinedly helped me to get another internship so this kind of symbiosis that's relationship great. happened again and again and again <laughs> and then finally landed to gojek that's great really great and uh, can you uh, like elaborate what dsa topics were covered during your technical interviews and were system design questions was was asked because it is seen recently for, that for system design uh, yeah. for internship uh, they like in my interview when they do in campus they have a round uh, of dsa like the okay. first round that's for the students but like my cv was already rotating through the teams so i didn't have a dsa round as such okay. and a system design uh, so they were not directly system design questions they were like uh, the project i served them like this is my project and this is i'm going to explain so they asked me kind of system design question within that only not uh, like not a separate system design interview okay you know i have seen that many students have this doubt it uh, additional subjects like dbms or computer networks operating system like uh, how much they matter how much uh, you know questions are being asked from these topics so yeah questions are um, surely asked from these topics like dbms dsa but uh, so there is a thing that some companies only go for cp like there are yes. such companies like if you are very good at competitive coding then you can clear their interviews and some companies go with uh, like development based interviews so they test like can you actually code can you actually think in terms of problems or such so no, i am not saying that dsa people do not <laughs> code or such but yeah like they have a like, different perspective for hiring candidates but subjects like dbms like dsa they should be studied for any reason whatsoever like even if you are want to be a like hardcore developer or if you want to get into cp subjects like dbms dbms um, dsa computational theory such subjects such subjects should not be left because uh, in future you going to be an engineer and if you do not know the basics then it will yes. um, like it will harm your progress in the company even if you get into a company after that you have a career of 30 to 40 years that what you what you yeah. want to do then so fundamentals are really necessary too. yeah and uh, like during your preparation what resources have you used and were those resources paid or unpaid okay so when i started uh, back like video courses helped me a lot like the one first year video courses were helped me a lot like the authors like and uh, and do maximilian he makes a course about view and many web development uh, courses so udemy courses basically uh, web and there's one also like web mastery stuff and so there are many video authors which make beautiful video courses you can check them out out on udemy but if you have like cross first and second year and if you have basics clear you should go by the documentations then so after that if i picked up any language like i've learned view first then i jump to react so for react i did not do any course i jump to the documentation straight away so this is how it went and yeah for dsa geeks for geeks like is the holy grail right now so yeah yes true true uh, like during your journey actually you you know shared your resume with the employee from gojek and that resume actually transferred to multiple teams and eventually your resume was the thing that uh, you know uh, made you stand out from other people who were there so what is the thing that you find different from others and what is the thing that you find that might have stand out in your resume like this is my perspective maybe they thought something else by reading my resume 
my perspective is that um, i created a image out of my my name like divyansh party the party was not the only thing in that resume like if you have uh, like this was a little bit you will see that i had a separate id and if everything for now uh, name silent lad so okay. like i made a digital persona so i had uh, multiple blogs on medium by that name i had multiple projects on github by that name like i had uh, con- like i still have weekly 2000 readers of my blogs on wow. medium by that name so uh, these are the stuff i think that helped me a lot because uh, it really shows that this person is not doing it for a job like he is really passionate about coding so i am kind of tooting my horn here but yeah so <laughs> they basically was i had a digital persona and on medium i made several projects on github so maybe that stood out for me so exactly yep true and uh, like uh, before getting an opportunity at go like you might have applied to many other companies as well or startups yeah. so which resources have you used to apply for in those companies and uh, like uh, how many times you might have you might have rejected many a times many, right i have a so, folder of rejection tell- emails so <laughs> i have a folder of rejection <laughs> so the story with me is that uh, i am an ipo so ipo does not have that much of in campus in the in campus internship is nil and in campus placement is like very subpar or something so um uh, all my opportunities and all my internships are off campus so that and all my struggle to get them were also off campus so basically you know oh. campus the rejection pile is always bigger than the acceptance pile so yeah yes yeah so the first rejection i faced was like from i don't can i name the company yeah yeah sure yeah. sure so first rejection i made uh, was from social corps it's now atlin so yeah i say yeah, okay. i applied in second year it was atlin so i faced the first rejection and uh, like it felt bad it felt very bad like the mail was it felt very bad but after that i faced many rejections but it was not as bad as the first one so yeah it it's up it's a part of the process like you will have to yes. get rejected that is why yeah, obviously that is why you know yes. that uh, like when you get accepted that is why you should be happy because <laughs> rejection is always a part so yeah Okay. Then definitely, I mean, uh, either you succeed or you learn from it. You yeah. will never fail, actually. Yeah. So you might have used resources to apply for startups and uh, you know tech giants, maybe. So was it LinkedIn or any other particular website? For me, it was, uh, it was basically LinkedIn and cold emailing. So there were okay. some companies which were not active on LinkedIn or maybe uh, they were active on LinkedIn, but I did not know who to whom to message over there. so what i would do is i get the i would get the email from the company website and then would mail them my resume that this is this this is this and even i got one internship through it so yeah like in off campus you'll have to be creative with your applying process like you just have to get your cv and get your like if you have a online profile to in on their faces like see this and then yes. you'll have to hope for hope for the best uh, any advice for the juniors who aspire to be like you advice for juniors to be a good engineer i would say yes. <laughs> to be like me i don't Uh, if they would want to be my like me so to be a good engineer i would say that you would have to love what you do like if if you can do that you will be a good engineer like th- that is why if in first year i used to give the same advice to juniors like when i was uh, in the senior year, that uh, love what uh, love what you do and do what you love so if you really love coding and uh, like if you really love computers you'll end up being a good engineer because you will be doing that out of curiosity or else have some curiosity in it so But but I know like in India like things are not that way. Uh, we are getting we get into engineering by like you have to do coding then you have to earn money. So even if that happens to you, don't worry. Like I think computer science is a pretty interesting pro, uh, subject. Like if you do it by interest, then you will go far away. And if you do it just as an obligation, then you you like you might clear an interview or two, but you still have to do it for sixty long years. Like exactly. So, eventually you you know you'll face uh, yeah, problems so now so something else great i mean it was a great session thank you devyansh uh, i hope uh, students will definitely learn a lot from your from your inspiring journey even i am inspired because you face a lot of rejections and finally go like a great company so thank you for your time thank, thank you so much for inviting me and yeah if anybody finds any thing mm-hmm. useful in this interview from my end so yeah i'll be very happy तो आशा करता हूँ आपको वीडियो बहुत पसंद आया होगा बहुत सारी नई चीज़ें जानने को मिली होगी कैसे उनने कैसे अप्लाई किया है कंपनी में कैसे उनका एप्लीकेशन इधर उधर गया और कैसे उन्हें वो जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली तो काफ़ी इंस्पायरिंग जर्नी थी उनसे अगर कनेक्ट करना है उनसे कोई भी सवाल और पूछना है तो प्लीज़ लिंकडिन से उनसे कनेक्ट कर लेना और ऐसे और वीडियोज़ के लिए प्लीज़ 
सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल और सपोर्ट करते रहो यार जितना शेयर कर सकते हो करो वीडियो को उससे ही यू नो मुझे बहुत मोटिवेशन मिलता है जब आप कमेंट करते हो नीचे और मुझे मैं सबका रिप्लाई दूंगा कमेंट जरूर करा करो यार लाइक जरूर कर दो वीडियो को मिलते हैं ऐसी किसी अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए बाय टेक केयर